All right, welcome to my guitar lesson. This is going to be Dire Straits, Down to the Waterline. One of my favorite songs from the first album, 1978, of course, Songs of Swing is from that same album. And as far as uh, my favorite songs to play, I would say Sultans and Waterline are uh, probably my two favorites. This is uh, pre-really commercial Dire Straits, you know, Money for Nothing, and when uh, synthesizers started taking over. Uh, definitely my favorite albums from there are the first two albums when they had the original band. So lots of uh, interesting things going on in this song, lots of uh, rhythm dynamics and nice soloing opportunities. So let's start looking at the uh, the key, which is a B minor. So we're going to start with the seventh fret. You can do your B minor up there. And it has that nice opening, which is very quiet. And there's just this, he's playing on this B minor, which is um, starting with that. And you've got this background, slight indication of a chord going on there. And then he plays the solo, which is, um, So that first part is uh, the um, ninth fret on the D string, seven on the G string, nine on the G string. And then you're pulling that string down to the bend, holding it, and then letting go. Then there's a echo effect, but you can just do it like this. And then... So again, you have... Of course, you can do whatever you want. I would... If I'm going to make any recommendation, it is do your own thing on this solo. Take a B minor chord and then just start you can just do whatever you want So you've got that. So there's a nice thing. You're doing a arpeggio there, playing the notes of the chord. So that is just basically seven. So you're doing a seven, um, ten, and then a nine. Seven.
chord comes in, the band. on the B minor you're doing then you're coming out of that little solo which starts is so basically it's just all in minor an E minor So that's your rhythm. So there you have... Um, you can either do this as a two note chord, where you're coming in that, uh, in that E minor, you just hit the... And then you can do... up on 12, 12, 11, 12, triad, and then there's just an A major there, and then that solo. Or are you just soloing on that, on that minor chord there? So again, it's like... So it's... So that's the uh, solo that he's doing there. It's like... Again, you're bending up the uh, the nine. Very cliched um, soloing thing that has been done to death. Really, is, is that? One of the most overused cliches in rock music. I try to avoid doing that because it's just so overdone. Just this, you know, whoever's playing a solo eventually gets to. So anyway, but that's the solo, so it's... 